Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another life update. Um, this life update is super exciting. I have some really awesome news that I want to share with you guys. And the first thing that I want to talk about is my new apartment. I did move and I did get an apartment finally. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did live in an apartment with my boyfriend Chance for two years and um, after a while we realized that we really needed to move um, the place that we were at. Um, the new management just wasn't very good. They wanted way too much money so we just wanted to move and find a different place to live. So um, yeah, we moved out of there and I ended up living um, back at home for Let's see, I moved there in May and then I recently moved out um, the beginning of November. So yeah, I was back at home for quite a while and I really wanted to get my own place again just because it's just nice to have like your own space that's for you. So yes, I did in fact move. That is why there hasn't been videos every other day recently. It's just because I've been so busy moving while working and yeah, things have just been absolutely crazy. But yes, I did move and we are all nice and moved in and I am back to my regular filming filming routine, which is good because I haven't filmed in a very long time, so it feels kind of weird to me, but um, yeah, it's all good now. If you guys are noticing like an echo or anything like that, it's because my apartment has all hardwood floors, so it's very, very difficult to film without an echo. Um, I don't think it's too, too bad, but if it is absolutely horrible, let me know, and I will try to fix it the best that I can. Um, and if you guys have any tips for, you know, diminishing the echoey in hardwood floor areas, let me know because that would help a great deal. So yes, uh, I did move into new to a new apartment and it is actually kind of cool because I actually live in the exact same building as my dad. Um, I'm just upstairs and to the right from my dad so that is really cool. I like being close to him because you know, He's my dad and I like to be close to my dad so that's really cool um, the rent is so much better like it's so much more manageable and it makes so much more sense so yeah I'm really happy with it everything's all moved in I have like my own little filming place again and you know it just looks really nice an apartment tour will be coming within the coming months um, it's not gonna be right away just because I want to make sure it's the way I want it and the way I like it before I film an apartment tour but yeah I'm super super excited um, so yeah, that's basically what has been going on with me for the last few weeks is I've just been super busy moving, trying to get settled, things like that. If you guys watch my vlogs, when I upload vlogs, I have been showing little bits of my apartment in there. So make sure you stay tuned for any vlogs that are coming out. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything with the apartment. If you guys are noticing I'm not wearing my ring, it's because at work, um, when we use, um, like when we wash the dishes, there's like a really strong hand, like not hand sanitizer, but a really strong sanitizer that we put the dishes in and it has destroyed my hands. Like my hands are in so much pain because I am actually allergic to it. Didn't know it, but I'm definitely allergic to the sanitizer. So my hands are super sore and it hurts to put anything on them. So I'm not wearing my ring for that reason um, because I am engaged for those of you who do not know. So I'm not wearing my ring because my hands just hurt really, really bad. Um, but yeah, so that kind of leads into the next topic I want to talk to you guys about and that is my job. Um, I have had my job now since the middle of May, which is super exciting, my very first job ever. Um, I don't give out the exact name of where I work just for security reasons, for my safety and just things like that. Um, but I am a barista, I work in a coffee shop and I love my job. Absolutely amazing, I love being there, I love working there. Granted, sometimes customers and working just drives me insane sometimes, but uh, um, nonetheless, I really do like my job and I'm just really, really grateful for it. And another really cool thing that's exciting is about maybe a month, month and a half ago now, I was actually promoted. I got a promotion at my job, so I am now shift lead at um, my work. I am not just a barista. Um, so I am now shift lead, which means, you know, a little bit more, bigger of a raise and it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's so, so, so much fun. And I'm just really proud of myself because I never would have thought that would happen for me. So yeah, work is going really, really well. I average about 40 hours a week now, um, which is good for, you know, that aspect of my life. But then it also makes it a little difficult for the YouTube side of my life because that literally only leaves me one day a week 
for filming. Like today, for instance, is my one day off and I'm filming videos. So I try to film a whole bunch of videos in one day so I don't leave you guys out. And I do try to vlog more as much as possible. It's just easier for me that way. So yeah, just everything's going really, really well. New apartment, job's going great. Um, and then another thing about the apartment that some of you are going to ask is, is Chance living with you? And yes, he is. This is my apartment, but he does chip in and he is also living here as well. Um, am I happy about it? Eh, I mean, don't get me wrong, <laughs> it's fine, but I'm someone who likes to be alone 98% of the time. I don't really like to have other people around me, even if that means like boyfriends, fiancés, whatever. I just, I like to be alone. Hi, Jackalberry. Yeah, and so yeah, he is living here, but yeah, that's just the whole situation with that in case any of you were wondering, because I know I'm going to get tons of questions. So yes, me and Chance are living together again. We have... Um, all of our stuff moved in, so yeah, we're just trying to get a little bit more settled with things like that. So, um, is there anything else I wanted to cover about the job or... No, I think that's it. So yeah, um, just keep an eye out for vlogs and an apartment tour in the future. Again, I'm not 100% sure when that's going to be, but you know, just keep updated on my channel and you guys will definitely see more of it. So, um... Yeah, that is everything with that. If you guys are noticing my hair, um, I got bangs. As you can see, they're quite long now. Um, I got bangs about a, um, let's see, about a month ago now, just for something different and something for a change. And I, it wasn't something that I was gonna keep. I know some people absolutely hated them and I destroyed myself when I got bangs, which that comment was just absolutely stupid. But yeah, I got bangs just to kind of change up my hairstyle for, um, just for a little bit, just for something different. I, w I had like no intention of keeping the bangs like for a long period of time. I might get them cut one more time and then just grow them out just because they're not something I wanted to have for a long, long time. Um, just something different and I didn't want to change the color because I love having my hair dark. So um, yeah, the bangs, um, I might get them cut like I said one more time and then just let them grow out. So. Yeah, that is everything going on with my hair. I still um, get my hair colored out of salon professionally, this color dark. As you can see, my roots are coming in, so I'll probably wait another few weeks before I go in. But yeah, that's everything that's going on with my hair. I am rocking some new ombre extensions that I got from Donna Love Hair. They're pretty cool. I might dye them crazy colors again like I do with my other ones, but yeah. You never know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to rock my ombre hair. Do you guys remember when my hair was that blonde? That is so crazy to me. Another thing I wanted to cover in this life update is my tattoo. As you guys know, I am doing a full rework of my half sleeve right here. As you can probably tell, this is the part that was redone. And then this lower part is what still needs to be done. I am still getting it finished. It has been a while since I got this done. Um, it has perfectly healed up all the way. So there's what that part looks like. And then I just need to schedule this part of it, which this is probably gonna take another five hours. That'll probably take like a good three, four hours. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but um, I couldn't schedule it anytime soon because you know, I spent a lot of money trying to move in and you know, the security deposit, the first month's rent, um, buying furniture, I bought a couch. So yeah, my money has just been kind of dedicated to my apartment, but now that things have kind of settled down and we're all moved in, I can finally schedule my next session for this. And I also have to get um, these finished as well, which I'm not looking forward to because the top of the shoulder freaking hurts. Like, I don't care what anyone says, like, this hurts. <laughs> I'm not filming it just because I wanna keep this, you know, my piece and my tattoo, but if you do watch my vlogs, I do include footage in my vlogs with this whole tattoo going on. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on that because I know it looks kind of confusing when you look at my tattoo and you're like, um, that doesn't look very good. <laughs> it's because it's not finished. It will get finished though. I'm determined to get it finished by the end of the year. So yeah, uh, that's everything going on with that. Ugh, I just feel so like rambly and jumbly in my head because I haven't filmed in so long and so much has happened and I feel like I have to update you guys on everything and I'm like freaking out at the same time because I can hear the echo but I don't know how bad it is for you so it's just like blah, blah, blah. that's like what my head is right now um but yeah uh, everything's just going really really well I'm happy to be filming again because I haven't talked to you guys in so long I mean I've been uploading but I haven't like 
but I haven't filmed anything new in a long time, so it just feels like super cool to be talking to you guys again. Um, another thing I wanted to, sorry, I have my window open and there's like trucks going by. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, I think the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is something that's very personal to me and something that I did talk about on my Facebook page, but I have yet to make a video on it or mention it in a video, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. It's something that I've been struggling with and something that's very personal to me. Um, and it's really no one's business, but you know, I think of you guys as my friends and family and I feel like I can talk to you guys about things without being judged. I mean, there are going to be people on the internet who judge you regardless. Like you could be a saint and people will still judge you. Just know that no one is perfect. Everyone has struggles. We all fall down. But the good thing is, is we all have the ability to get back up and just try again. And you're probably like, okay, just spit it out. What is it? And that is my struggle with smoking. Um, I was a cigarette smoker for a very long time, about four years now, which is insane for someone my age. I am 22. I started when I was um, full-time smoking when I was 16, 17 years old. So yeah, I've been a very long-time cigarette smoker. And one day, um, May of... 2014 I randomly one day just decided to quit cold turkey like with no help at all um, from smoking cigarettes because I just wasn't feeling good I just wasn't feeling like myself so yeah I actually quit smoking cigarettes for one year and I was super proud of myself like I can't even believe I made I made it one year and then after I got you know my job and you know I was living back at home and there was just a lot of stress going on and I did unfortunately fall back into smoking cigarettes granted it is not as bad as it used to be thank goodness because I used to smoke between 12 to 15 a day which is a lot um, you know well I mean one is a lot but I mean you know what I mean and now I have fallen back into smoking where I will smoke on my way to work, on my way home, and before I go to bed. So mainly it's about two to three a day, um, you know, which isn't good. And I'm not happy that I've fallen back into smoking, but I just feel like I should come on here and let you guys know that smoking, quitting smoking is one of the hardest things to quit. It is a habit that is super, super hard to break because your body becomes so dependent on the nicotine that when it comes time to quit, it is, it is almost near impossible to quit. Um, it's very, very, very difficult. Um, and the one thing with smoking is when you want to quit, you have to have the will and the want to quit. And back in that May, that month of May in 2014, I wanted to quit so it wasn't too hard I mean it was hard but I mean it wasn't too hard and then now I'm just at that point where um, I just kind of have to get back into that mindset of it's bad for me I need to stop so yeah I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I am still struggling with quitting smoking um, I mean you can be mad at me and leave me a hate comment all you want you can you know gossip about me all you want I really don't care because I mean, think about it. If you are a smoker and you've tried to quit, or if you know someone who is a smoker and they tried to quit, it is a very difficult process. It's something that's very hard to do because you just become so dependent on it. So yeah, it's just been very, very hard for me and I have fallen back into it. So I just kind of have to get back into the whole, um, you know, getting healthy again and stop you know, smoking. So yeah, that is what I'm working on right now, but I just wanted to come on here and be totally 100% real and honest with you guys, just because I feel like I owe it to you because I'm an inspiration to some of you out there and I don't want you to think I'm perfect because no one is perfect. We are all flawed. We all make mistakes and you know, it's just something that I will get better at. So just give me time and I will keep you guys updated on that. But I, I just wanted to come on here and be honest. I feel so much better getting it off my chest because I don't have to hide it anymore. Um, but I will, I will work on it, I promise. But you know, these last few months, they've just been pretty stressful on me. So, and my dumbass self thought it would be good to start smoking again. So yeah, that's basically everything that's going on with my life right now. Um, the dogs are doing okay. They are a little bit 
kind of anxious and stressed out because of the move, but they're not too bad because um, they know my dad's house and I'm literally right upstairs. So I mean, it's not too, too bad, but they do seem a little stressed out, but you know, they're doing really well. They're adjusting. Um, they now know where their new bed is. They now know where their food is in the kitchen. So yeah, they are adjusting. They're getting there. Um, it'll just take a while for them just because it's a new house, you know, new smells, just things like that. So yeah, but that's basically everything that's going on with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this life update. If you did, be sure to give a huge, huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you guys are new to my channel, I very much encourage you to go down and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. And yes, that's all I have for right now. I really hope you guys have an awesome and wonderful day. Let me know what's new in your life down in the comments. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.